Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, today today has not been a disaster so far, and when I started up the game, it was actually still in the correct resolution. So, I'm assuming that's a sign of things to come, and things are actually going to go pretty well. One can hope. Whoops. I always do that. So, a couple things to do. Um, number one is I have a new name. I'd, I'd run out of names and used all of my viewer names for my soldiers, however, I have a new one. Even though I'm probably not going to use you because I have so many soldiers, but... Nonetheless, I have three unnamed soldiers, so let's just do it. Let's go with the George Hughes. Alright. So, the next name, and the at the moment the last name on the viewer list is Ghost. George Ghost. Which, I have to say, sounds pretty damn cool. What should I make you look like? Alright, I'm going to block your face out so I can't see you, and I'm going to click a bunch of these things and see what happens. I, I can't see him. I'm blocking I'm blocking him with my hand. What did I make? You don't look crazy enough. You need to be crazier. What do you look like? Hey, that actually looks kind of cool. Let's mess with the armor tint a little bit. Ooh, he looks like a forester of some sort, doesn't he? Some sort of handsome lumberjack with a gun. You think I cut down trees with chainsaws? No. I cut it down with a saw. But just not a chainsaw. The saw, you know, the, the weapon. Like, I, I think it's in a... Right, you, you know. Yeah. What the hell does the saw stand for? S-A-W, all caps. What does that stand for? I know that's a weapon. Saw. 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 I have no idea. But anyway, you actually look kind of cool. Alright, I won't make you look ridiculous. I'll just leave you like that. George Ghost. GG. Okay, that's one thing. There's one other thing to do. I have a special request from a viewer. And it's quite interesting, actually. Um, someone wanted to take a look at what the soldiers are doing around the base, because one time I had noticed them. So, let's take a look at them again. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But, let's see what we can see. Let's see what they're up to. Alright, so there's two soldiers here in the med bay, it looks like. Just having a chat. Someone with blue hair, I think? And I can't tell who the other person is, but apparently the person on the bed is telling jokes. Because the person next to the bed looks to be laughing. And no, there's no way to zoom in, unfortunately. I've tried. Scroll wheel doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah you can't zoom in. Let's see, up here I see Arrow. Having a chat with two other people at the pool table. Looks like they're having a good time. Bonding. I'm just amazed they can actually see Arrow. I wonder how much control Arrow has over her mimetic skin. Wouldn't it be very inconvenient if you just kept going invisible? All the time. Like you're just walking around in a store or something and then... I don't know, you just touch a shelf and it happens to be full cover. And so you end up going invisible. <laughs> Or something, I don't know. They probably have control over it, right? Maybe? I don't know. The good thing is, they don't need to even go outside. Because all of them are trapped inside of the XCOM base. I've locked the doors. They're not getting out until they defeat the alien menace. That's the terms of their release. They need to successfully defend Earth before they can go outside. Let's see, down here we have... Isley, and I'm not sure who that is. Someone with blue, light blue hair? I can't tell, though. I think I have multiple people with light blue hair. And it looks like they're listening to the radio and exercising. And down here, we have two people at the bar. Not sure who they are either. Someone with green hair, Oompa Loompa hair, and somebody with purple hair. Oh, yeah, and there's two up here. Two people having a chat. One looks like... Is that... Oh, <laughs> that's, um, that's one of the, the mechs. Uh, which one would that be? A uh, gray hair. I think that's Tyrone? No, no, it can't be Tyrone. It's gotta be... Yep, it's you. That is John Cotton Candy Smith having a chat up there. Sans the mech suit. He just has his... What is it called? Hold on, what's his, what's his base body called? Oh, the, the base augments. Okay. God, you look weird with that. 
<laughs> you look really strange with that. Let's put your uh, your full mech suit back on. The <laughs> Dr. Shen, I know. Stop. Go away. No one likes you. And that just messed up his tint again. <clears throat> Or wait, not his tint, his decoration. There we go. Back to your old self, Cotton Candy. So yeah, my soldiers are bonding. Can you see any soldiers on the other sections of the sh of the base? What about, like, engineering? No, just engineers. Of course. Yeah, no, they're just in the barracks. Okay, well, let's keep on waiting. We go oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I totally forgot. We have the the situation. I don't even know what the hell that was, because the game kind of seemed to mess up a little bit. They wanted me to come to the situation room, and I didn't, but then it kind of gave me the quest anyway. Um, so, yeah, what's going on with that? Any, anyone want to tell me what's going on with that? I don't even know what that mission is. I got to stop doing that. I guess I just have to do this? What, what is this? Oh, it's a council mission. Target Escort, one of the scientists serving in a remote observatory used for tracking and monitoring UFO activity in the United States has come under attack. We cannot allow the aliens to threaten any personnel contributing information to the XCOM project. We'll need you to deploy a squad and ensure his safe return. Ooh, panic reduction. And a bit of money. Let's do it. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. All right. Probably not a super, super difficult mission. And in fact, I don't even think anybody really needs to be leveled up anymore. I'm pretty sure I have full rank or nearly full rank backups of all of my troops, except my mechs. I don't have any other mechs. Yeah, Major, Colonel, 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 I can't even talk. Everybody's a Colonel except Ochner. Yeah, I'll continue to take you. Okay, um, I am going to take... Actually, maybe I should take... I should take Isley at some point to level her up to Colonel. But I want to try Spectre's new ability. Yeah, I want to get a feel for it. I really want to use that double tap. It's going to be so cool. So I'm going to keep her. F I'm going to keep Spectre for now. Use it a bit. Just have fun with it. And then I'll use Isley to get her up to the same level. So I'm going to keep everybody the same. But I need to make some changes here. Like, you should not have the Arc Thrower because you do not have long legs. Like Blunda has. I will keep you with the chitin blading, though. Scope or nano fiber vest? I could actually wear the chitin blading and nano fiber vest. Dear God, would you have a lot of hit points? Nah, I'll just give you the scope. I guess. Healing grenade? What's that do? Five damage? Nah, I'll give you the scope. Alright, you're the one who should have the arc thrower. Now, everybody's good, right? Everybody's actually good for realsies. For totes realsies. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I didn't mess you up by taking off your suit, did I? No, you have the particle cannon. You're good. You have the medic thing, you have the arc thrower, you have the chitin blading, because you're my... Yep, yep. Okay, we're good to go. Gonna escort some people. We're doing an escort mission. Literally an escort mission. Ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. What the hell? The council believes Dr. Marizuki's research to be extremely valuable. They're requesting we escort him safely to the evac point. Big Sky will be in position to make the pickup at the other end of the facility. Objectives updated. That was very strange. I... Was there meant to be an introduction like there usually is to this mission? Because there's nothing. We just popped up here. My efforts here have been focused on studying the alien flight paths in the hopes of determining exactly where it is they came from. Oh, I can help you with that. I know exactly where they came from. Space. Right, so we simply need to get him to over there. That doesn't look very hard. It seems incredibly close. In fact, it's so close, I'm extremely suspicious. This isn't right. This looks very simple, but there's no way it is. There's got to be like 
ten sectopods in the way. I bet there's like a sectopod right around the corner. Or inside of a trash can. And it's just gonna pop up and say like, Oh, hi! Surprise! I heard you like surprises. Do you also like lasers to the face? No. No, I don't, sectopod. I don't like lasers to the face. What do we have here? Is this it? I think this is another room. That is a room. Do I have to funnel everyone out one door? That's not good. Where does that ladder go? That's an outside ladder, not an inside ladder. Yeah, I pretty much have to funnel them outside that one door unless I want to go inside of these rooms, which I don't. Hmm. I don't like that. No, actually, let's take a peek inside, because there's probably another exit here. Now, there's no meld, so there's absolutely no reason to rush. None. So I'm just gonna take my time. Let's get ready to blow up whatever the hell might be in here. Get my other troops ready at the other door. And I gotta be careful here, don't click. If I try to click this troop right now, if I try to click Finn, it's going to open the door. I need to press tab to switch. There we go. Gotta remember that. Already there. It's very temperamental. Go away. Did I get the advanced servo motors yet? I don't think I did. Did I? That does seem like an awfully long distance, actually. Maybe I did. I'll check next turn. Do some, do some overwatch. Oh yeah, you. I forgot about you. Uh, hide behind the computer rack. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Oh, they spawn in. Where? Oh. Huh. One thin man. Are, are you serious? That's it. Oh, I'm even getting a reaction shot. I didn't even have to do anything. You're dead. That was sad. Come on, you can do better than that. Look at that arm. That has a long and thin arm. A thin arm for a thin man. Alright. Hello! No one. Right, I think I played on a mission just like this. Oh. Ooh, they're grouped. They are grouped. Unfortunately, I can't see them. How many hit points did they have? I don't remember, but it's not much. I could f probably flame them. Well, let's open the door. Can we see them? Okay, you can see... Oh, they only have three... Yeah, I can just flame them or blow them up with a grenade. I've gotta go outside, though, which I don't want to do. I hate going outside. Okay, I'm... Do we have advanced servo motors? This seems like this is a lot longer than it was before. Yeah, there's no, there's no way I could move that much before, right? I don't think so. I guess I have advanced servo motors. Right. Um, let's go here. Well, actually, eh. let's go here. Because that could be used for a cover for my troops. Right. The interesting thing about Thin Men is that they have extremely little health, so they're easy to kill, but their capability to do damage is pretty high. Because they have plasma weapons. Now, granted, they're only light plasma rifles, but still, they're plasma nonetheless. Now, I know there's a third one over here. So, yeah, this is probably my best bet. Let's do it. Should kill three. Surprise! Yep. Ooh, that's not gonna poison my people, is it? Uh, apparently not. 
Blunda is just outside of the range of it. I didn't even consider that, to be honest. 70%. That's not bad. What the- what the fuck did you just do? What the hell? I don't even know what I just did. What the f- Great. Okay, well at least I didn't use up both his action points. How the fuck did I do that? Must have right clicked on the ground, but I... Ugh. I, I'm thinking there might be something wrong with my mouse because I've noticed that I keep double right clicking And I think that might be what just happened. I don't know. Okay, so I can move him into cover if I had to Like right now I'm gonna right click. Okay, good Okay Single right click. It was fine Ooh, 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 I like that I can kill two. Damn it almost get three, but I can't. I'm scared to right-click now, because normally you right-click um, right is basically the same as pressing escape, and that it kind of backs you out of menu. So, for example, I would do this, and then if I want to get out of it, I just right-click. But if it double right-clicks, it's going to fuck me over. Like, it's, it's way faster to use the right mouse button than actually press escape. It's way more smooth. And it doesn't seem to be bugging out here. Wee, oh, ooh, oh, ah. Anyway, ooh, okay, so I can launch another grenade. That's good. What can you do? You, oh yeah, I already moved you. Damn it. I don't even want to pop this open. No, I'm just kidding, I do. There's nothing in here. And of course, you can't see anything. As always. Oh, how did you go get up there? You fancy motherfucker. Right, let's just put you up there. Please tell me none of them are on Overwatch. They're probably on Overwatch, aren't they? Oh, no. No, they're not. Okay, cool. Next turn, she can take two shots. Might as well move you up. You can't do anything else. I've observed so far, it's clear the aliens have developed a propulsion system that allows for faster than light travel. Oh, maybe the aliens are made of light. Oh, my brain just exploded. All right, who can I blow up? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, I love how M always like does a little dance and spins around when he gets to the end of his move. Ooh, okay, so we can kill two? Wait, can you kill two? No, you can't. Shit, wait, what about, what about proximity mine? No, it's got the same range or the uh, the same radius as the grenade. That's the only one you can see. Hmm. I'm thinking I should move you into cover. Unfortunately, everything's flanked. I'm going to move you here. That way you can't be shot at next turn. And you're in cover. Right, so I can kill that one. Which is good. Or I could just kill two. Which is... Precisely what I'm going to do. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Ah, good. Alright, now there's just two to deal with. Yeah, they better throw something at me other than Thin Men, or this is going to be a really easy mission. Should I take the shot? Actually, wait a minute. This would almost certainly kill it, wouldn't it? It does up to three damage. Maybe. Can I launch a grenade at his face? I could. 
Should I use a grenade? I don't know. Yeah, why not? It's fun. YOLO! <laughs> Might have been a little bit overkill, but it worked. And you can hide like the defenseless and useless coward you are. Stay alert, strike one. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Er, my good. Oh no! Do damage! Oh no! Do more damage! Alright, hostile forces don't... More thin men, really? Alright, so I'm thinking because this is an escort mission, I probably need to get them out of here and they're probably just going to infinitely keep coming, so I probably need to move. Can I burn their faces? I think I can. I probably could. It would be fun. And that won't reach both of them. I'm gonna try it, just for the fun of it. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's try it anyway. Yeah, yeah, take your reaction shot. I probably should have triggered that with my lightning reflex assault trooper, but oh well. Alright, I wonder if this is gonna work. Is that gonna work? That actually is. This might burn a little. <laughs> yes, it will. Should spread. Oh, it didn't spread over. Wait, what? But it said it was gonna hit. What? Okay. He was red. The game lied to me. I guess I should just use you first, shouldn't I? Because now you can shoot twice. Let's get the ones that are in cover. Oh my god, I can hit the one in full cover with a 100% chance to hit. That is amazing. You can see double tap is extremely, extremely powerful. Just look at this. She is a... One woman death machine. Alright, Ochner, let's get you some experience, shall we? Actually, hmm. Who needs experience? You could also use some. And you're in a better position to do this, so let's do this. <laughs> Critted for 15 hit points on something with 3 hit points. That's amazing. All right, let's move up. We need to move up. Moving out. I find myself wondering how far these creatures have traveled to undertake this invasion. The resources involved are staggering. Yeah, man, mobilizing your spaceships has got to be expensive. And think of all the approval they had to get from their leaders. Man. Oh my god, Blunda, you can move so far. Your legs are amazing. This might sound weird, Blunda, but you have beautiful legs. Really beautiful legs. I do want to capture a thin man if I can. But I don't want to move him up too far. Let's get a little bit of overwatch here. We're receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Let me guess, more thin men. Oh, surprise. Is this seriously all this mission is? This is so easy. Come on. And you're dead. <laughs> right in the head. And you're dead too! This... Uh, 
I mean, throw a sectopod at me, for Christ's sake. I know I'm playing on normal, but even the normal missions are much more difficult than this. Maybe I should set myself a restraint here where I only, I only kill the enemies using my pistols. No, that's stupid. Oh no! More thin men who are going to cluster together so I can blow them up with a grenade. Whatever will I do? I totally can't just do that. Yeah, just run our troops up. Time to motor. Should be able to finish this map in two more turns, I think. Yeah, definitely not one turn. It's gonna have to be two. Right, you have almost no hit points. So I really need to make sure you don't die. You have very long legs. So I don't need to move you up that much. I'll put you right next to... The doctor dude, the science dude, so you can protect him. I will also put you very near him and put you on overwatch. Because one hit with anything and he's dead. And I would fail the mission. And worldwide panic would probably increase, which would be horrible. Eh, I'll just put you there. <laughs> Activity closing in on your location. Let me guess. Thin men. Or an explosion. And then thin men. Or... Wow, they're not even bothering to send anything at me anymore. It's like, no, forget it. No challenge. You've killed all the aliens. You've defeated the invasion. You're done. I'm, of course, scouting ahead with my most vulnerable trooper. Because I'm cautious like that. I believe in the Titan suit you are invulnerable to poison. Let's test that. For science. Mm-hmm. Immune. And I'm sure the mechs are immune, no doubt. I really, really want them to send a sectobot at me. This is even easier than the Exalt missions. It almost makes me want to turn the difficulty up, but I really don't want to because the normal missions are much more difficult. Hostiles are headed right for <gasps> Thin men! No! Oh god, I wanted to capture him! <laughs> oh, the mechs just crossed beams. That was really cool. Alright, well. Let's end this. Thank you for coming to my aid. I only hope my data is beneficial to the cause. Execute it to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. VIP is safe and on board. Objective updated. Excellent work, strike one. Wipe out any remaining aliens and come on home. Wait, you mean that's not the end, or... Wait, what? It is the... Or I guess it ended because I already had wiped them out? I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that was so easy, I literally could have used unranked squaddies for my entire squad, and I would have been fine. Another 
day, another successful mission. Great there's, work out there, Commander. There's got a ton of corpses. I'm not sure what I could use those for. And the most important thing is that I got panic reduction and money. Remember, we will be watching. Now, did I want to spend my money on anything? I honestly don't remember what the hell I wanted. So hold on, did I get the advanced servo motors? Yes, I did. Okay, that explains it. That definitely definitely explains it. Shiv, blah blah blah. I don't care. Stealth, stealth satellites. I guess that's kind of cool. Still can't make another chit and plating. I guess I could buy some new weapons. No, I wanted to wait for the EMP cannon. And I believe I needed two more firestorms, right? I need five, and I have um, three. Is how many I'm making? How many more can I make? Oh, I need to dismiss. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Unfortunately, I can't move them until they're done. Because they're being made at the home base. Nah, I'll just wait for them to finish. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep waiting. I guess. Facilities? Got a lab. I don't need power, I don't need satellite uplinks. Because I can't, I, I even have one satellite that I haven't even deployed because I just can't. I really don't need anything. I don't have enough meld to upgrade. I don't even need to upgrade them. They can't be upgraded. Anything to get here? Oh man, this stuff is so cheap. All right, well, you know what? This stuff is really cheap. So I'm, I definitely want to take this one, rapid recovery. Might as well get it. That's nice. And this one is just dirt cheap, so I might as well do it. Now, it says the squad leader. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that means the highest ranked member or simply the br the member with the highest will, but it could be nice. I mean, you're not really going to really be able to know when it's active, I think, but it could potentially save one of your troops from being mind melded, maybe, and it's dirt cheap, so I'm just going to go for it. I'll just save the rest by money. Sectobot autopsy. Advanced construction project. Ooh. What is that? The advanced fabrication processes that the aliens used to build a sectopod could be repurposed to accelerate XCOM's vehicle and facility construction. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Let's do the Muton Elite autopsy, because once again, that is extremely quick. The standard Muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. It's almost as if the aliens were intending that the further you resist against them, and the more powerful you get, the more powerful they get, as if it's some sort of a difficulty curve introducing new elements thing. Almost like it's some sort of game. Strange, these aliens. It's so much like a game to take variants of old creatures and modify them and add elite and twists to them that make them more powerful with better weapons and more health and better armor. Very strange, these aliens. Weird sense of tactics. No, it requires two sectopod wrecks. All right, so we can't even make that. That isn't even that expensive either. I think that's totally worth it. Because these firestorms take a long time to make. Of course, once I build them, I'm probably never going to have to build them again. But, I don't know. We'll see. I can't even make it right now, so it doesn't matter. There's probably something I can spend my money on, but I can't think of it. Ooh, Arrow has completed gene modification. Sweet. Plasma weaponry research... <sighs> I get the research credit after I've already researched all the plasma weaponry. Great. Um, 
Well, if I do the EMP cannon now, it's going to be finished before my ships are even built. So it's completely pointless. Unless, of course, I wanted to outfit my current ships with it, which I don't really care. So let's just do this. Let's do the sectoid commander autopsy. Yeah. This is an extremely dangerous species, Commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Aw, oh, it's no threat. That thing's adorable. It can't hurt me. It's fine. Alien grenades. Now, does that upgrade the grenade launchers of my mechs? I have no way to tell until I get in-game, I think. Because I don't think it tells me how much damage it does, does it? Well, tell me here. Uh, uh, where? No, it's not. No, it's not abilities. Loadout? I guess. Uses regular grenades, but will automatically upgrade to alien grenades if that technology is developed in the foundry. Okay, so yes. Now they're going to switch up from doing 4 damage to... Something else? I don't know how much exactly. I doubt it's going to switch from 4 to 5 damage, because that's a small increase. I'm guessing probably 6. That's most likely what it's going to be. Well, that was quick. Psionic Labs available for construction. Well, I know what I'm doing next. Mimic Beacon available for manufacture. What is that? Neural Feedback available in Gene Lab. Ooh. Mimic Beacon has been... This device has been programmed to mimic the auditory cues the invader appears to use in the field. It can be used to attract their attention to an area. Hmm. How could I use that? Well, there's an obvious possible combination with proximity mines and that thing. How does it work, though? Like, if they see you, and they're shooting at you, but you throw that thing off to the side, will they go towards it, or will they continue to focus on you? Does it only work against enemies that can't see you? This facility allows us to discover and develop the latent psionic abilities of our soldiers. If you have any such capabilities, using them in the field will increase their strength. Neural feedback causes damage to psi attackers and puts all of their psi attacks on cooldown. Does not reduce the attacker's chance of success. That... Uh, that doesn't sound very good. Unless it's really, really, really cheap. Let's interrogate him, just in case he has an important research credit. Alright, let's go see what that let's go see what that new gene thing costs. If it's really cheap, it might be worth it. Eh, ten meld. It's kinda moderate. You kinda need all of your troops to have it for the most part. Except maybe your sniper. It doesn't seem worth it. I mean, if I wanted to protect against Psy attacks, which is pretty much what this does, I think I would just go for Neural Damping. Which, granted, it costs twice as much, but still. That secondary heart is still very nice. I wonder if I should be giving my other troops gene mods. But what? I mean, hyperactive pupils is a good thing. It's always a good thing. Insufficient resources. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, I thought this adaptive bone marrow would be extremely useful because if the soldier regenerates 2 HP per turn up to the HP max without armor. 
it sounded super nice. It sounded like you could practically make your soldiers invincible if you were simply patient enough and, you know, put them around a corner when they were hurt. But when you realize the fact that the vast majority of your hit points come from armor, then you realize you're almost never actually going to get the healing properties of it. So it's kinda pointless. Eh, I don't know. I don't really care. My troops are fine. Improved medkit, thank god. Well, looks like we're gonna have a covert operation. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Alright, well I've used Spectre and I've used her new double tap ability, which is amazing. So let's give let's get Isley up to the same level. Isley, Isley, Isley. There you are. Other than that, should I switch out anyone? Um Let's see, is my other heavy also maxed? Soul. Are you maxed? You are maxed. So I might as well just continue to take Finn. Because I'm sorry to say, but I like her abilities more. I'm I'm really glad I went for uh, Shredder Rocket instead of Suppression. And also Rocketeer. Yeah, I just like it more. Um, what about Graves? He's max too, right? Yeah. Hmm. An arrow is maxed as well, right? Yeah. All right, I'll continue to take Auchner just to get another assault up to the max level. Auchner, Auchner, there you are. All right, let's kit you out. I almost gave her a laser sniper rifle because I'm so used to using the laser weapons. That would have been a mistake. Honestly, I wonder if my sniper even. I wonder if my snipers even need scopes. They have such good aim, but... I mean, nothing else would really be of any use. I could get one of those anti-strangulation devices, but they don't really seem to matter. Alright, you're good. Um... I can't... I can't capture the exalt, so there's really no point in giving you the arc thrower. Uh, let's just give you a scope. You're good. You're good. You are good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't I have an alloy cannon? I do. Did I not use that on the last mission? I totally forgot I bought that. Not that it mattered, but... Huh. Alright, now we're good. We have visual on the mission. Scans indicate an exalt cell currently operating in Australia. We'll need to secure the area while our operative focuses on the exalt data. I'm, I'm sorry, what'd you say, Central? All I, heard, all I heard was blow everything up until mission end. That's the only thing I understand. Our operative was in position to transmit the data <laughs> they'd acquired when exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position. But if exalt I know. manages to I, hack I know. the encoder, They'll be able to locate I know. the transmitter if they had I know. Any hope we have Th for thank, the data thank you. Will be I can't skip this. I literally can't skip this. New objective received. I pressed everything and I couldn't skip it. I was just laughing about the fact that we have so many hit points. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 hit points. Is it Paul? How much? How many hit points can you have? What's the maximum number of hit points you can have in this game? One, two, three, four, five. You have twenty-six. So twenty-eight is the max I have. Can you get higher than twenty-eight? I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, ooh. 
This is a really interesting level layout. This will open roof structure. Oh, and thankfully we spawned right next to Gary Warner. I could even use jet boots and just jet my mechs up here. Yeah, if I didn't do that, how would I get up here? Oh, I guess I could just climb a pipe. Oh, it looks like you can just go in the... Yeah, go, go in the door and then come up here, I think. But... Hmm. 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 I really wish Ochner had memetic skin. No, let's not do that. I'm just gonna move him here for now. There's no need to rush. No need whatsoever to rush up to the roof. I'm gonna pack my troops in, and next turn, we can all move up. I really would like to put her in a position, though. That's full cover. That is full cover? Damn. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it must be because of the tables up here. Yeah. The tables and the little fence thing here. Where do I put you? Where do I put you? Just go here. And you can just hunger down. Moving Man, we're really going to be packing in here. I'm so glad the AI don't seem to use grenades. Yeah, I'll stand right here. We'll hide behind the trash can. Oh yeah, let's see how much the uh, let's see how much damage the grenade does. It did four, and now it does five. Really? Damn, I was expecting more, but it actually does just do the damage of the alien grenade, which is five. Huh. Okay. That's disappointing. All right. Time to leap into action. <laughs> Look, he can move all the way over here without even sprinting. Look at how far he can go. Jesus Christ, his mobility is amazing. Just move up to the front line. No one's even here to challenge him. It'd be funny if you actually didn't have to use jet boot here and you could actually just climb up the pipe. Can you imagine one of these mechs climbing up this pipe? <laughs> I just imagine the pipe just kind of like falling off of the building with the mech on it. Like it just starts to go up it and then the whole thing just pulls out of the brick, the brickwork and just goes and falls over. Because I don't think it could support the one ton or however, however the hell much these things weigh. They've got to be heavy. Put Isley into position. I really don't know where the hell they're going to come from. I have no idea. They're apparently not actually up here. I'm assuming there's, there's probably some inside of this building here. That's a pretty safe bet. Actually, I thought there were stairs here, but there aren't. How do you even get up here? Is it just just through there? The one staircase? I think it is. If this is the only place they're going to be able to come from, then we got this thing locked down. I mean, of course they're going to like 
parachute in or helicopter in, whatever the hell they do, but yeah. I'm on it, Commander. Nah, eh, I'm actually going to move up more. Can I... Why, why can't I move here? I, it says I can move here, but my mouse thing isn't showing up. What, show up. There it is. This is making me paranoid. It's been too long. Why haven't I seen them yet? Alright, you need to get the hell out of there. Rolling out. Hello? Anybody out there? Okay. 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 Some action? Commander. No. Oh. Yes, here we go. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. Oh yeah, I guess we can hack those things, right? Eh. But we don't need to. We could just blow them up. Let's just blow them up. Maybe it'll make it a bit more difficult for me. Not, not hacking those things. Because I think that means more troops will be sent or something. Well, let's just defend the area. No reason to rush to the enemy. Actually, I could... I could launch some proximity mines. I rather like that idea. Unless they could just, like, crawl up. A pi There's a pipe here. Hmm. I didn't actually mean to launch that, but that's actually okay, because that's probably where I was going to put it. It is in a potted plant. There is now a proximity mine inside of a potted plant. They'll never see it. It's stealthed. It's cloaked. It's a gene mod for the mine. I kind of wanted to put it down there, though, but that's okay. It's fine. It won't hurt us. I th it's not going to blow this up, is it? Can I see his range? I can't. I think it'll be fine. I want a serious amount of overwatch here. Will do. Let's go ahead and protect this entrance here. Let's get a little height advantage. Oh, hi. They don't even have plasma weapons. They still have laser weapons. That's so sad. Yeah, remember what I said about putting you here to get a height advantage? You're kind of getting a flank disadvantage. Kind of sucks. I could blow them all up, though. It wouldn't kill them, of course, but... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's move up first, though. Oh, they move so fast now. 
Yeah, remember that cover you guys hid behind? It's gone now. If only I could fire a rocket down there. But it wasn't meant to be. Alright, well, I could shoot you, I could move you here in a full cover, but then they can take shots at him. So why even put him in the danger? Why even, why even put him in danger? I'm just going to move him here. Let them come to me. If they want to try to break my fortress and hack this encoder, good luck. I want to put you in a better position though, Isley. This is a pretty bad spot to be in. I mean, if they come from this way, you got it covered, but... I think up here is where the action is going to be. In fact, here might actually be good, a good spot, but I can't move her there yet. Um. All right, well, if she's going to be back here, I might as well move her so she can cover this flank very well. Overwatch. You should hide right here. Actually, can you throw a grenade? No. Your move. If they try to encroach on my position, they are going to have a bad time. If they come up the pipe, they're going to go boom. If they come up the stairs, they're going to get shot in the face. It looks like they chose, in the end, to do nothing. Alright, let's get some eyes on the situation over here. Okay. Where did they go? That's worrying. Gonna move you up here to full cover. More eyes on the situation, still don't see them. Interesting. Kind of just want to plop down some more mines. Where do I put it, though? Where do I want to cover? Where could they come from? Where would they come from? <laughs> yeah, let's put the mine up here on the roof where no one's ever going to come from. Hmm. can't really see any good places to put this. I mean, here, maybe. Where was that? There, I mean, that would cover the stairs. Yeah, sure, why not? That pretty well covers us. Yeah, I'll leave you here. And just Overwatch. They've got to show up at some point. Oh, they're right there. Regen pheromones. Come on, show your faces. I know you want to. Overwatch. I have so much Overwatch. <laughs> they're healing. Taking cover and healing. That's not all they're going to do, is it? Okay, I hear some action. Please come up the stairs. Please, I encourage you to come up the stairs. Please come up the stairs. <laughs> oh, it didn't even kill him. But this will. Or not. Okay, there's other overwatches, though. It's gonna trigger. Man, what a nasty surprise. He climbs up a pipe, gets blown up, and then <laughs> gets four reaction shots against him. I feel bad for him. That is so unfair. Has 
additional reinforcements moving on strike one, Commander. Oh no! Whatever will I do against this grave threat? What the hell? Where? Wait, what? Where is he? That didn't look right. You teleporting hacker? Alright, well, I can pretty much just... Actually, no, I probably won't kill you because I can't shoot twice. Um. Uh, well, you're the only one I can take a shot against, so let's just do it. Crit, 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 crit. Not a crit. It's okay. He has a massive height advantage, so he's probably not going to get hit, and he's in full cover. I want to give Isley some experience here, so you are definitely going to be the one to take that shot. Ooh. Oh, you're so close. That's why your chance to hit is really bad. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> 16 damage crit. Ouch. I really want one of them to come up the stairs. I really do. Please, someone come up the stairs. Should I lay another... Another treat? For anyone who wishes to come up here? Let's do that. Because I think they're going to try it again. should move up. I'm going to move up. Oh, hi. I heard you wanted to die. I can give that to you. Are you grateful for this gift? I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding. I didn't actually try to kill you. I didn't totally just fail to kill you. Nope. That didn't just happen. Now, to the untrained observer, this might seem excessive. Firing they would be right. Miss the target. Oh, that was a miss. Looked like a hit in my book. Oh, please come up. Ple please come up the pipe. Are you coming up the pipe? I want you to come up the pipe. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Is someone coming up? Is someone coming up? Is someone coming up? No, someone's throwing a smoke. Okay, that's a strange tactic. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're gonna die. In fact, can I burn you? <laughs> I, I can actually flame downwards. I didn't even know you could do that. Look at that. You actually can aim a flamethrower downwards. Well, hell yeah, we gotta get some use out of this thing. And then just more Overwatch. Let's see, uh, they actually, they keep coming from over here. Rather than here, so I'm actually going to move you up. And away from the explosive, of course. I didn't even know you were there. Hmm. Guaranteed 5 damage or a 54% chance to kill him. I'll take my chances. And they didn't pay off. But it's okay. This is like the ideal mission, or the ideal location to defend. It's it's perfect to defend from. There's very limited entrances. That's actually a decent shot, I'm surprised. I'm impressed. But yeah, there's so many entrances and we have a huge, I mean there's so few entrances and we have a huge height advantage. It's so easy to defend. I don't think 
that heal is gonna like save you. Finn and Blunder. Goodbye. Ooh, anyone else? Nope, no more reaction shots left. It's okay, he was so stupid he didn't even go into cover. Right, so I need to blow up all the things. Ooh, that's gonna trigger a reaction shot. Come on, come on. Here we go. You got this, you got this. Actually, it's very... <laughs> I didn't even see him getting out his shotgun. <laughs> that was brutal. Damn. Alright. Once again, you're too damn close, but I might as well take the shot, because you can't shoot anyone else. Okay, fair enough. There's only a 60% chance to hit. You're dead. Man, that alloy cannon is brutal. Now, I could flame them. They hit them both. Actually, no. That wouldn't hit them both. He can't aim it down that much. So many enemies. So many. Let's see how to do this. Okay, um... Ooh, how to do this. I'm trying to think of the most efficient way to do this with my two mechs. I'm thinking that... Hold on, can you shoot both of them? No, you can only shoot one down there. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill you. Then, I'm gonna collateral damage the- Oh no, I can't destroy the cover, shit. It's part of a building. Alright, that's not gonna work. One shot, one grenade... 62%... Hmm... I could chew up my grenades to do this. Which, actually, I think I'm gonna do. I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna try to kill you. Which looks like it's gonna be unsuccessful. Never mind. That was a crit. Okay. And now they can both just launch grenades down here. Why is, why is that saying it's not gonna hurt that guy? That doesn't make any sense. How can that not hurt him? Okay. Please tell me he's actually going to hurt him. Is he invincible for some reason? He's apparently invincible. That's great. That's very strange. Well, if my grenade isn't going to hurt anyone, I might as well just burn your face off. And you're dead. Out of the game. I can't wait until I assault the Exalt HQ. Because these little missions are so easy. I almost want to turn the difficulty up just for these missions, but... I don't know, I don't really want to get into... Messing with the difficulty up and down on a per-mission basis. Alright, come on. I know you're out there. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, you are so dead, you don't even know. <laughs> I 
everybody turns to him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he made such a mistake. <laughs> look, look, look at his body. <laughs> what the fuck even happened to his body? His feet are all like twisted around and his model's all messed up. What the hell? His body couldn't take the abuse of, what was that, like, five or six reaction shots? So, looks like his body has kind of partially entered a different dimension. It's being sucked into a black hole. And his arms are outstretched as if he's reaching for the light. Go to the light! I just feel bad for him. Jesus, he just, he just walked up there, and then every single person here turned around and went, Oh, hi! and shot him in the face. <sighs> Rip in pieces. Rest in peace in pieces. All right, where are you? Come on. Locked and loaded. Back in. We're green to go. Let's rock. I mostly just reloaded everyone. Even though I don't need to. I really don't want to go hunting for him. Please show up. Okay, he's going to pay us a visit, isn't he? And he might survive, because I think I only have one overwatch. Never mind, he's not going to pop up. Alright, go take a peek. Is he over there? No? Where are you? Downstairs? Hello? Hello? Oh, they're underneath us. Okay. I can deal with that. Let's see if I can kill them all in one turn. I love these grenades so much. There's one more. Who is... where was he? Somewhere around here. Let's go pay him a visit. Okay. X-ray down. There's still more. Damn. Where are they? Oh, he's coming up the pipe. That's a bad idea. He's gonna get an alloy cannon to the face right about now. Oh, Blunt has got the first dibs. And he missed. And the next shot goes to Ochner. Who? Who is successful? Ochner? Is successful, but doesn't kill him. It's actually a surprisingly... Surprisingly weak showing from the alloy cannon, but maybe it can do better next time. Ooh, that has gotta hurt. Actually, no, it probably didn't hurt because I don't think cars have sentience yet, but still. I guess I'll give you the experience. Hi. I heard you liked alloy cannons to the face. Commander, the transmitter has been secured and we're not picking up. I don't even care, Central. Well, that was an incredibly easy, but fun mission. It's fun to do crazy stuff without really worrying about dying sometimes. The aliens better get it together, or we're gonna mop the floor with them. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, Gary Warren's been promoted again. Holy shit! I guess I have my next, um, Colonel Assault, except it's not the one I was actually using to fight with, but 
I guess you get a lot of experience just for actually being in the mission, even if you don't really do anything, just for going on the covert operations. I guess I'll start using Gary Warner instead of Ochner, maybe? Hold on, what did I give you? Flush, rapid fire, yeah, you've got a good class build. Oh yeah, Killer Instinct. Let's go with Killer Instinct, yeah. The plus 50% critical damage for the rest of the turn, that is incredibly valuable. I don't, I don't understand why the Exalt doesn't have... Why don't they have plasma weapons? The aliens have had plasma weapons for a, a long, long time. Alright, there can't be that many places left. What have we got? <laughs> it's either Canada or Mexico. Well, Ca Mexico was, I think, the first place to pull out. So I'm gonna blame Mexico. Fuck Mexico for pulling out. So rude. It can't be Canada. Canada is just way too nice to house the Exalt. No way. Maybe I should do an intel scan. I don't even know how that works. Well, let's find out. Executing worldwide intel sweep will cost $50. Or, sorry, 50 space bucks. Intel scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. Oh, there's one in Russia? Oh. Okay, well, I guess doing this operation will narrow it down to whichever place has the Exalt HQ, so I'm guessing very soon we're going to have... We've been at it for days now. All I can think about is my bunk. All I can think about is radio silence, Central. So yes, after going to Russia, I guess we'll know exactly where the HQ is, which will be very nice. Well... I'm sorry, Gary Warner, but I, right back into the field you go. I feel bad. She's always in the field. Wait a minute. You're not loaded out, are you? No, no, you are. You're good. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Russia. Can't wait to take them out. Should be very interesting. Whoops. Can you just go into the blackness? Like, can you just go up into the dark? You can. I'm scared. Where am I? Whoops. Um. I want to see what happens with this interrogation of the sectoid commander. Psionics research credit earned. Excellent. Because I haven't really spent anything on them yet, so perfect. Finally, I actually have a research credit for something I haven't done yet. So should I do hyperwave communication or focus on other stuff? Hold on, how long for my firestorms? Five days for my firestorms. So, no, I want to start on the EMP cannons. Yep. There's something else I wanted to do, what was it? Um... Oh yeah, the Scilab, I need to build one. Yeah. Um, where should I put you? I'm pr honestly, I'm probably almost never gonna need another power generator, so I could put it here, even though I would be missing the potential to get a massive bonus by having the two adjacency things, so I probably shouldn't. If I put it here, I will be missing out on the possibility of getting another workshop bonus, but who cares? It's fine. Let's just build it. Man, I remember last time, when I played Enemy Unknown, I almost never used Psy Powers on my troops. Like, I used it at the very end of the game and didn't really make use of them and didn't really care about them. I don't know if they've updated it or if I should make use of them, but I never really cared. But... Let's do it anyway, because I know you do actually... You actually need psionic abilities. And I think one of your troops to be able to do the final mission in the game, so we might as well just get this going. Well, that's basically it. 
Next thing to come up is the Firestorms and the EMP Cannon. And then in five days, we have the Covert Operation, which should reveal exactly where the Exalt HQ is. So I'm really excited to figure, figure that out and see exactly what happens for that HQ mission. It's got to be something special. And hopefully it's going to be more of a challenge than the normal Exalt missions. So with that note, I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon where we will probably take on the Exalt HQ.